Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. Today, we are continuing looking at Colossians and Paul talking about how he's praying for the church uh, in Colossae. So we are going to um, start in verse 9. And it says, And so, from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. See, Paul prays for them to understand the will of God and for them to be able to live it out in their everyday life. See, we know God's will by knowing his truth. And you know God's truth by spending time reading the Bible and getting to know who God is. But he also prays that they understand it and have the knowledge. And so we can be praying and asking God for us to understand what the Bible is talking about and for us to understand how to apply it out for our own life and live it. Because knowledge is not just about attaining more head knowledge, but there's a purpose. And he says that there is a purpose in order to have this wisdom and understanding and knowledge. And that's so that we can live out what God wants. In verse 10, it, he says, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him. And so we want to know God's truth and to let it change our hearts so that we can live in a way that glorifies and praises God through our actions. See, it's important to know that our salvation is secure in Christ. Jesus did all of the work for salvation, and he's the one that makes us secure. Um, so we don't have to worry about messing it up. We can't do anything to earn salvation. That's only in Christ. We just need to accept it. And nothing that we do can change God's love or his grace and forgiveness for us. But we can live a life that does displease God. Uh, and so we can evaluate that in our own life of, am I living in a way that's glorifying to God and pleasing him? But always remember, like nothing is going to change God's love for us and nothing changes the way that he lavishes his grace and forgiveness and mercy in our life. And it doesn't change our eternity and salvation, but it's a way that you think about a parent. They always love their child, but sometimes they do things they don't like them doing. And it's the same with us and God. We can make choices in our life that God isn't pleased with because he knows those choices are not blessing us the way he wants to bless us when we choose to follow his way and live a life that is fully pleasing to him. See, our own choices most of the time lead to pain or destruction or some sort of suffering. And God wants to, to bless us, but we have to choose to know his word by reading it and letting him work in our life to change our life and, and live it out. See, Paul talks about that we bear fruit in every good work. And again, this is not trying to work to earn salvation or earn God's love. We can't do that. God's love is perfect and complete just right now because God is perfect. And so it doesn't change. Um, and again, we can't do anything or earn our way into heaven. These good works and the fruit that we bear are evidence of the life-changing relationship that we have with Jesus. And we can't try and force it or trying to perform or, or make it happen on our own, but it's us surrendering to Christ. It's us choosing to seek his truth, seek out God's wisdom from knowing the Bible and letting the Holy Spirit work in our life to produce his character and fruit. We've been talking about the fruit of the Spirit on the weekend, um, and those are evidence that come out of our life when we know God's truth and wisdom and let him take control in our life. And so I pray today that you would seek God's truth, that you would surrender to following Christ in every area, and that you're filled with the spiritual wisdom and knowledge of Christ. Have a great day.